All right, welcome back everybody. We're now on slide 20 and this slide is all about uh, continuing the lymph node that we were looking at just a while ago on the image. And we saw follicles that were in purple around the cortex and that's what's full of those B cells which are classified as white blood cells that fight infections for you. And these B cells circulate continuously through your lymph nodes and lymphatic stream. And we talked about the core or center of the lymph node, also the sock monkey, right? And there's medullary cords which um, come from the cortex, the outer layer, and they kind of stream toward the middle and they're full of these rich white blood cells called B cells and T cells and plasma cells to help fight. So there's also a high concentration in the medulla of these type cells. And throughout the node, there's also lymph sinuses that are crisscrossed um, throughout the whole node and every node in the body. And there's, that's full of macrophages. And um, those phagocytize any kind of foreign matter, whether it's bacteria, viruses, cancer, you know, anything that it notes as foreign. As we continue, we're um, leaving the lymph nodes now. We're looking at other lymphoid organs that we want to get to such as the spleen, the thymus gland, and tonsils. Also, we're going to talk about Peyer's patches here in just a minute. So let's look at the spleen first. It's the largest lymphoid organ, so we certainly want to have time to talk about it. It's uh, located on the left side of your abdomen to kind of lift up your stomach, and it would be uh, underneath that quadrant. And here are four things that the spleen does, and you'll note that there's a couple of blanks that you'll want to fill in there with blood and platelets. Uh, and I also want to note that the spleen fights some really bad infections. I mean, the baddest of the bad, like pneumonia and meningitis. When you look at the spleen, it's uh, kind of lit up like the 4th of July. You notice there's a lot of red and blue. And this is indicating a lot of blood vessels. So it's a very vascular structure. And here in the cadaver, you can see uh, the size of the real spleen there. And this is the artist drawing. You can see major arteries and veins coming in. So it is very vascular. And you'll note that there's white pulp. That's the center where all the white blood cells are. That's why it's white. And then this is the area called red pulp where um, it filters out the remaining worn out red blood cells, which is one of the things that your spleen does for you. Okay, we're going to pause right there. 